Yesterday, soldiers from Fort Eustis and other volunteers gathered together in Hampton in an effort to clean up two historic black cemeteries. I caught up with a few of them to find out why acts of good like this are so important. It's easy for grass and weeds to take over tombstones at the Bassett and Elmerton cemeteries, especially after days of rain. Because cemeteries don't produce any revenue. People abandon cemeteries. They leave them here. These are the two oldest African-American cemeteries in Hampton and the final resting place for a lot of prominent African-Americans, like Mary Peak, who taught freed slaves during the Civil War. This is a sacred burial ground. Volunteers from the do-gooders of Hampton Roads and the Barrett Peak Heritage Foundation are no stranger to cleaning the cemetery when the grass gets too long, but this time they got a lot of help. But to have the Army Fort Eustis out here today was blew my mind. Members of the U.S. Army at Fort Eustis showed up to volunteer. I actually pulled up this morning. I thought there was an event going on and I didn't know about it. Dozens of service members came prepared with weed whackers, lawn mowers, and a barbecue grill. Well, I knew that they were coming. I just didn't know the force that was coming. So um, it was a little bit of a surprise, but definitely welcome. The soldiers said they wanted to give back to the community. We know that things are not necessarily the best right now, but we can still cast aside our differences to come together to make something positive happen. You know, I challenged Israel and said, I think that we need to find something that our organization can take our, our just our values of selfless service, of love, of of how we go forth and do great and wonderful things across the world. How do we share that in our local community? 